Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, I know I've missed a couple uploads in this last week or so, um, but my schedule will be going back uh, to normal three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. A video will be up on my channel um, since I'm now done with school and exams and everything. I am on my summer break, so I will be posting three times a week for you guys um, again. Also, make sure to go follow my Instagram. Um, the username is Lavinia Rosanda. I will link it down below for you guys to follow. Um, just because I post so many videos and so many pictures on there so you guys just can get extra content from me if you go follow me on Instagram um, but yes so today as you can tell by the title is going to be just a drugstore haul it's not a huge drugstore haul or anything it's just some stuff I've picked up in these last few days um, you know I have a ton of repurchases stuff I've just wanted for a while and yeah so um, it's just going to be a chill video, just sitting and talking to you guys and sharing with you what I've bought from the drugstore recently. But um, let's just get started. So as per usual, I have my little basket here with all the goodies I have purchased lately. So we're just going to get right into it. So as I said, I did repurchase a ton of items that I've already used, that I've been using forever now. And I always just keep going back and repurchasing them. So the first thing here are some makeup wipes. These are the simple um, sensitive skin cleansing facial wipes now I mentioned these in a um, empties video I just did and I showed you guys how many of these I went through um, and I went back and repurchased them because I was running low and um, these have to be my favorite makeup removing wipes I love how gentle they are on the skin and how much they um, remove makeup and stuff so um, I had to repurchase a pack of these so let's just get all these skincare ish type products out of the way and then we can move on to makeup so I also repurchased um, my all-time favorite facial moisturizer and that is the Pond's dry skin cream this is the rich hydrating facial moisturizer now I stopped using this for a while just because I ran out of it and I started using other products that I have because I have a ton of products that I don't really use just because I kept going back to this um, and then after a while I realized I need to start using this again because it just does my skin so nicely and it's just such a rich moisturizer but it doesn't make me like oily or anything so repurchased a tub of this. Now the last skincare type product I got is the St. Ives Blemish Control uh, Facial Cleanser. Now this is the green tea cleanser and I have gone through so many bottles of this like I mentioned in the empties video. Um, I use this non-stop. It is my all-time favorite cleanser and I had to repurchase a new one because I was running low. So those products weren't very exciting because I'm just always repurchasing them. But now we can get on to the makeup. So the first thing I got was another one of the L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Sponges. I have one right here that's all like used and old and it was time to repurchase it. And I have been loving this sponge. I think it's the best one at the drugstore now. Um, You know, very comparable um, I think it's really amazing, you know, I feel like it kind of beats the uh, Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge because I really, really like this one. And I think I like it a little more than the Real Technique one, so I'm a huge fan of it and had to repurchase another one. Okay, we have some products from Wet n Wild. The first product I have here is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Now, I had to rebuy this because I have one already, but it is like completely empty. I'm on my like last few drops, and this is actually one of my favorite setting sprays. Um, you know, for the inexpensive price, it does such a good job at setting your makeup. The little sprayer, like the mist on here, is amazing and it just locks your makeup into place and it kind of sets everything down. So, I'm a huge fan of it and decided to pick up a new one because I was running low. As you guys can tell, it's like a lot of repurchasing products in this haul, but that's all right. Um, more from Wet n Wild, I uh, picked up another one of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundations. This is in the shade Buff Fisk, and um, I already have this foundation in the shade Nude Ivory, but as you guys can tell, I'm getting a bit of a tan now, and this shade is just way too light on me, so I had to pick up a darker one, and this one is a little dark for me now, but my goal is to get a little more tan throughout the summer, so for now, I am mixing these shades, and I actually am wearing this foundation right now and I love it. The Photo Focus Foundation from Wet n Wild is a total win. They did such a good job. If you haven't tried it, go ahead and try it because it's so inexpensive and such a great formula. So I just picked up another shade in that. And then I picked up one more thing from Wet n Wild. This is just a lipstick and this is in the shade Wine Room. Um, I have quite a few of these Wet n Wild lipsticks and I don't know, this one just kind of like 
I don't know, it, I saw it and I was like, ooh, that's really pretty, even though I have like a hundred colors like this. Let's just open it and swatch it. Um, yeah, but I love these Wet n Wild lipsticks. The packaging sucks, like it's super expensive packaging. But for the price, I think these are like almost two bucks or three bucks or somewhere around there, really inexpensive. And the formula is absolutely amazing. Like they have this um, kind of matte formula to them. They're not like matte lipsticks, but they are not like um, a, they don't have any sheen to them or anything like that. So I've just opened it up here so we can do some swatching. So you can see how pigmented these are. I don't know, this color is just so pretty. It's like a um, muted down maroon with a lot of like pinky mauves in it. I don't know, it's just really pretty. And even though it's not the most like summery color, I still think I'm going to wear it a lot just because it has that bright pink in it. Um, I don't know, I'm a huge fan of it. Um, I don't know, I'm just a huge fan of these wet mold lipsticks and I really like this color in the shade Wine Room. So I picked it up. We have some products from Rimmel. The first thing I picked up here is the Rimmel um, Stay Glossy Lip Gloss in the shade uh, Stay My Rose. Now, if you guys don't know already, the Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Glosses are actually my favorite formula of lip glosses. I do have a few shades and they are so, so good. They're not sticky, um, but they have a very long lasting formula. They glide right on and they make your lips look so like plump and glossy and I love it. And this shade, I don't know, it was just, I found it really pretty. It doesn't have like a lot of pigment to it. Um, just gonna swatch right there. As you can see, it just has a nice rosy pigment to it. Very glossy as you can see there. And it looks beautiful over any nude pinky lip. So I've been wearing this actually a ton like in the last like few days that I bought it. And it's just been like a go-to like everyday lip product for the summertime. Um, when it comes to this time of year, I really love lip glosses. And that's just such a perfect everyday shade. So I picked it up. I also picked up another Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. This one is in the shade Creamy Natural and I picked up a new one because if you did see my empties video, I did run out of this powder. I completely used it up so I picked up a new one and this one is brand new. Um, uh, I love this powder. I would say this is my favorite face powder. It just sets your makeup so nicely and it, it makes sure wherever you apply it, you do stay matte all day. Um, just like the name intends but it does not look cakey or dry or anything like that it's just the perfect like mattifying powder and it's really inexpensive from the drugstore all right we just have a few more products here now another repurchase i made is the maybelline fit me concealer i don't like i've completely lost count with how many of these i've gone through i repurchase one like every month or so and i've gone through so many of them because i've been using this concealer like for two years now and it's like my go-to concealer but i repurchased this one in the shade 10 uh, since I'm getting a little more tan now, this is the shade that matches me instead of 15, so I bought one of these. I bought two of the NYC liquid liners. Now, the reason I bought two of them is because they are actually discontinuing this liquid liner. Now, can we just take, like, a moment? Um, because this is my favorite liquid liner. I feel like I cannot even use a different liquid liner. After discovering this, I feel like I try to, like, rotate through my liquid liners, and then I'm like, nope, not good enough, and I just always grab for this, so I'm stocking up and make sure I have backups for when I do run out, because they are not making this liquid liner anymore, so make sure you get your hands on the last ones in your stores. Okay, I bought some lashes here, and these are brand new from the drugstore, and I, when I saw them, I just had to get them. So these are the brand new Ardell Faux Mink Lashes, and I got mine in the number 812. Can we just, like, look at how beautiful these lashes are? Um, so these are supposed to look really natural. Um, they're supposed to have this lightweight, like, luxurious feel to them, but they do look really promising, so I'm super excited about them. Let me know if you tried these out and your thoughts on them. I have one more product to share with you guys and then we are all done. Now I have here the Milani Powder Blush. Um, this is their Rose Blush in the shade Tea Rose. Now I've wanted to get my hands on this blush for the longest time now, but it is always sold out in my stores. Look how gorgeous this blush is. Like Milani, your packaging is amazing. And like the detailing in this blush and making it look like a rose is gorgeous. I feel like I'm not even gonna use it just to like not disrupt this 
beautifulness going on here but this is in the shade T Rose as I mentioned I have wanted to get this for so long it is the blush I'm wearing right now although I did use like a very light hand of it but I will swatch it for you guys um, this is like a beautiful like mauvey cool tone blush it's a very light um, but it's a beautiful color and I'm so excited to play around with it and use it more so yes very excited that I found this so that is it for my drugstore haul, guys. I just wanted to sit down and share a few products that I uh, picked up lately. I hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure to comment down below what you'd like to see next. And make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.